What's up guys, this is Coach Ray from Voice of Arm Wrestling and today I'm gonna to share with you three of my favorite forearm, wrist and finger strength building exercises for arm wrestling. So straight away I will tell you these exercises are my favorite right now. Maybe a year later or you know even a few months later I will identify some other weaknesses and I will need some other exercises. And it's very hard to even call this my three favorite exercises because the exercise movement is similar basically what I'm doing each week, but I will change things up. I will change and, and you know, use either free weights, cable system, uh, dumbbells, barbells, different kind of handles, full range, partial range, depending on what I want and where I'm feeling the most weaknesses. But these three exercises are absolutely amazing in my opinion and I recommend everyone to do it. You can do them twice a week, again, by changing things, reps, sets, weights, things like that, uh, because they kind of hit everything you need in arm wrestling. So as you know, right now I'm in Dubai and uh, I just choose these exercises because I'm working with Larry Wheels and identifying some things that uh, were causing most problems with his hand, hand control and everything else. So. The first exercise, and if you watch me, you already know this is one of my favorites, are single arm deadlifts. So for this session, and the video you see right now, we're doing three sets of 12 reps, eight to 12 reps with about 50 kg. So you can also do this for even one rep max, but don't do every session trying to hit one rep maxes, switch things up, change the handle, change, you know, uh, Right now we're having, I think, 50 millimeters or two inch handle. You can use the big one that's uh, almost three inch, you know, handle or uh, 70 millimeter uh, winding handle or wrist wrench or, you know, any kind of different variation will help. So you can use this exercise or basically this sequence twice in a week. And let's say one day you're gonna use from one to five reps, you know, three to five sets and the other day you're gonna work you know less weight more volume uh, from up to five reps to about 12 let's say and you can do this with your fingers statically holding the weight curling the wrist up every time you move it uh, so many different variations uh, like in this session we're just hitting it like this like you see it but uh, about three days ago we did I think five sets of five reps with about 75, 80 kg and uh, you know, it's heavier. Now we have more control. So now every time I lift it up, I can do a little wrist, you know, curl. So I absolutely love this exercise because I feel if you cannot hold the weight with this one, you will identify how weak your fingers are and you most likely will see it on the table because almost every arm muscle that has good containment, so good fingers will show really good result in this exercise. So however you want to do it, I gave you some ideas uh, with different handles and as well, I posted a video about this exercise in description that will give you more ideas on how to use it and when to use it in your training. The second exercise is single arm barbell wrist curls on a bench. So one of my all time favorites, really classic exercise. Again, you can do it in any gym because almost every gym will have a bench and a barbell. So barbell adds instability. That means your forearm muscles are working over time. It's not just flexors, it's also extensors. So as we filmed this exercise, competition or the super match for Larry was far away. So we're doing full range. So he can have full benefit of full muscle development. Closer it gets to competition, we're just doing partial range. He's really trying to focus on keeping the bar straight. This is the thing that he was really struggling when I first showed him this exercise because of instability in his forearm when part of the flexors are stronger than the other part of the flexors. So here you can always kind of, you know, you can vary different things. You can add a fat grip that will make it harder if you do it for, you know, full range. Uh, for partial range, fat grip will make it easier, you know. Uh, you, can, you can do a lot of different stuff. You can change the angle of the bench and make it a little bit decline. So here we're working about 8 to 10 reps full range, but not letting it out 
on our fingers because we already hit our fingers and I wanted some exercise that really hits wrist flexion well. So arm wrestling, there's a different thing between, you know, containing someone in the fingers and actually curling them, wrist curling them. So this is more of a wrist curl exercise where usually you will use bigger weights, especially for the partial reps. Full range, most likely not, but for partial rep, you're gonna use much bigger weights that you can, you know, pretty much control in your arm. Um, if you don't have a big bar, use smaller bar or even use a dumbbell. So switch up a lot of things. And like for each week, we did a little different variation, again, depending on rep sets and what we wear. But for everyone, uh, again, here you can work pretty, you know, heavy, especially when you're doing partials. But I would always recommend, you know, not going, you know, less than five reps. Sometimes like one rep, two rep, it's fine just to test out where your wrist is. But to really work on your hand, especially when you're doing full range, I would recommend something like eight reps. Because if you add too much, like if you want to go for two, three reps with full range, you're already adding so much pressure on your wrist that it's very easy to get injured, you know? So I always recommend here working, you know, for heavier weights. And only when you're doing partials or, you know, just a little bit going in that straight wrist position, then you can go for heavier weights, you know, or test your max or test where your wrist is. And as you can see, I'm doing it by laying down on my shoulder, depending on where your flexibility, like, you know, Larry's a big dude, he, he cannot get in, a, in such a comfortable position as I get there but I would always recommend work towards it. Try to lean in a little bit more because it's much closer to position where the arm is when you arm is on the table with someone. And the last exercise or the exercise group is uh, basically, I will call them finger curls because they add so much tension on your fingers. So as you can see, we're just using a board with a string. Super easy to make, everyone can make it. I brought it from Latvia to Dubai uh, for us to use it in training. It's a really great tool because you can have like with this board and if you want, I will show you, you can do at least three different variations. Just thinking on top of my head, three different variations where it's going to be hundred percent different each time you do it. Uh, if you want that, please leave a comment. Let me know because I will make that video if you guys want to see it. Any kind of equipment or handle that will add tension on the fingers in a flat position will do. So here you can use eccentric handle, top roll eliminator, wrist max, doesn't matter. So we're switching this up. I'm never doing this for super heavy weights. This was the heaviest basically that we did and the lowest range on reps because our fingers are doing so much work. I feel that constantly our, like our fingers are doing so much work that doing something less than, I would say, six reps is really not that efficient. You can do, you know, test your grip strength for one rep, that would be more of a static, but when you're trying to curl something from holding position, six reps up to 20, 30 reps, because it adds so much tension on your fingers, and when you arm muscle someone, you know, and they kind of trying to get that grip, kind of get that set up, they're all the time working on your fingers. And when your fingers are, used to just, you know, one, two repetition, they will get exhausted very easily. So for everyone who struggles with the grip, like this is the best exercise or best exercise group that you can do, really it is. So everyone who's into arm wrestling will tell you like, to have better containment with your fingers, to have a better grip, better position, you need this, because it really, builds the strength of your fingers in arm wrestling position. That is this position, you know, when you're basically in 90 degree angle, your hand your, or your palm to your fingers. And it's, it is really great exercise. Uh, I'm usually working around three sets, 10, 20 reps in between. If I'm doing my deadlifts with a single arm deadlift, of course, I'm talking about very, very hard, then I'm going to go easy on the fingers. And if I'm doing uh, deadlifts very easy, I'm gonna go heavier on the fingers. So here, this was pretty heavy uh, because again, like Larry hasn't worked with this one. His right arm looked really, really good and he felt really comfortable with it.
one of the reasons why I started this channel to give people options. It wasn't to show this exercise is the best or super secret arm wrestling exercise that will make you a champion. It's always about variation. It's all about, you know, identifying weaknesses and working on them. If you feel weak with some exercise and you're always going to that exercise that makes you feel good, where you can lift big weights, most likely as soon as someone's gonna get you to that position, you're gonna lose. So put your ego aside, you know, it's, it's up for you and just choose exercise that you really need to improve. So in the description, you can find playlists uh, for grip, finger, wrist, you know, uh, training exercise that I have put on this channel that you can choose from or change different variations already. So I hope this video helps at least someone. Uh, please like the video and uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them in comment section below. Check out our Patreon, support us there. Uh, pro and basic arm wrestling training plans, warmwrestling.com, link is in the description. Stay strong, love arm wrestling.